Hello, my name is Tony Botting, and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we'll talk about the effect of changing the mesh density in Simulation Express. One of the options in the Simulation Express wizard prompts you to increase the mesh density, as shown in this image. Increasing the mesh density can result in more accurate results, as we'll show by example. We'll discuss what it means to increase the mesh density and then run through the software to show the procedure. Simulation Express does not show the finite element mesh itself, so we've run some studies using the simulation product available with SolidWorks Premium to show the finite element mesh. This screenshot shows what the initial mesh of finite elements might look like. When you run the analysis, the stress field would look like this. And we see a maximum stress is 10.143 psi. Similarly, displacement values might look like this, and the maximum value is 0.01491. This screenshot shows a different finite element mesh, where the density of elements is increased over the entire structure. This is called mesh refinement. This option to refine the mesh is available in the Simulation Express wizard, as we'll show in a moment. When you run this analysis, the stress field might look like this, and the maximum stress is 11.162 psi. Similarly, the displacement field would look like this, and the maximum displacement is 0.01493 inches. Notice that both values have increased. You can calculate the changes in results due to the mesh refinement procedure. Let's look at the stress. Initially, it showed maximum stress of 10.143 psi. The refined mesh indicated 11.162 psi, so the stress increases by about 10%. If you kept decreasing the mesh size, generally speaking, the change in stress would get less and less, demonstrating convergence in the answer. If you look at the maximum displacement to compare the values before and after mesh refinement, we see an increase in displacement of only 0.1%. I've drawn this behavior on the graph at the left. Most people stop when they get to about 10% change, mainly because field testing typically has accuracy limits of about 10%. The takeaway from all this is that with increasing mesh density or increased mesh refinement, number one, the displacement values converge faster than the stress values, and number two, Generally speaking, the stress values tend to converge to a more accurate value. You'll see this mentioned in the Simulation Express interface. So we'll go to the Simulation Express product for demonstration. When we get to step 4 to run the analysis, you can see there is a Change Settings command, which I'll press. What it's saying here is that you can refine the mesh density, and they show an animation of how increasing the mesh density can result in better accuracy for stress. The mesh starts out coarse and ends up fine, where the finite elements get smaller and smaller, and generally speaking, the stress will start to converge. So I'll click on the Change Mesh Density setting, and the instructions say you can increase the mesh density with the slider in the Property Manager, so I'll do that. You can run the slider to coarse or fine, and you can show the average element size by clicking on Mesh Parameters. You can run the dial or the slider bar to see the size change. So I'll set it to Fine and click OK. You'll see the Mesh Progress dialog. When it's done, you can choose the Next command and then the Run Simulation command. And you'll observe that it takes much longer to run than with the default mesh settings. Here's the refined mesh stress results showing with the on-screen labels indicating maximum and minimum values. As before, the stress grows larger compared to the default mesh settings by about 10%. And here's the displacement plot, again showing an increase in the displacement value by about 0.1%. In this video, we talked about the effect of changing the mesh density in Simulation Express.